How long have you been trying for a baby? So it's been about 13 years. It was when we got married, I was about 24. 24. We settled down first, got a house, yeah. and then we decided time was right to maybe start looking to have a baby. Can you tell us a bit about your fertility journey, your previous treatments, your previous diagnosis? So we've had three cycles of IVF. We've done two with or at my own eggs and we've done a third with a donor egg um, and I was diagnosed with um, early menopause so I think I was early menopause when I was about 30. Yeah you were quite young. Um, we are the, the second second time we had the IVF was when we found out the early menopause and that's, that's why we ended up going with donor eggs on the third time yeah. and again she got pregnant but unfortunately miscarried two weeks in. So um, we were actually going to stop there and, and, and not do it again. And then we had the chat and Joanna decided she wanted to do one more time. So here we are again. Why did you search for a clinic abroad? So I've had friends who've been abroad. Um, one's been to Poland and one's been to Russia. And they highly recommend it to go abroad. And I think also the fact that we've, we've, because we've done three cycles in the UK, we wanted to look at a different option um, and, you know, try something different, and, you know, instead of staying in the same place. Yeah. So that's like when we, we looked for a different approach, we looked at different places and then obviously we come across yourselves. How did you feel when your Vista Mosa contacted you? Absolutely fantastic, um, excited, over the moon. Couldn't believe it. Um, a dream come true. You know, you, you think that things like that wouldn't happen to you, and if you did, you know, we were made up. Um, it took a long time to finally get here because <laughs> of obviously restrictions and COVID and stuff, but, you know, really, really. I think at first we thought it might have been a joke. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a bit of a wind up, and then yeah. obviously it sank in, it wasn't, it was all real. Yeah. So we were really excited. Yeah. Did you have any fears or doubts about doing a treatment abroad? I think at first we did until we spoke to Marta and uh, reassured us. I have um, anxiety, so um, I probably emailed Marta about five million <laughs> times and um, she always comes back to me straight away. and. It was just a communication. The communication yeah. was always there on top, and it you know so any good. problems or anything like that, you just get into contact and you yeah. get back in touch with you straight away. So there was no fears really. We were excited to come over. How has communication been with the UR Vista Mossa team? Absolutely amazing. Yeah, <laughs> we couldn't fault it. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Always um, straight away on the emails, on the phone. Um, even more communication. Than in, I think, in the I UK. Think, well, I think yourself has had a bit more communication than normal people would normally go through because obviously you've got anxiety, yeah. you've got question after question after question, I and do have a lot of the questions. staff were amazing and always come back and always answer the questions. Yeah. And you know, it was reassuring the fact that because obviously what John has got, it, um, it was nice to see that the communication was fantastic. Yeah. How do you feel now that you have arrived in Alicante? So um. excited. <laughs> Finally, we've actually got here. It started from last, was it March or April? April, then we were supposed to be September, and then obviously now it's October. Yeah. Um, it's, I still sometimes think it's not true, but obviously I'm here now. And we finally got here. We're here and it's yeah. going ahead. So it's really exciting times. Yeah. Hi Joanna and Alien. Uh, here we are on the Embryo Transfer Day. So I have a couple of questions for you. How are you feeling today? Mixture of uh, emotions. different emotions, excited, I'm nervous, uh, nervous <laughs> and hopefully everything goes well. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any specific fears? Um, are you Exactly what the process entails? Yeah, so this is our fourth, fourth IVF. IVF. So we sort of know the process. Um, 
and we just we just hope it all goes really well. Um, so we've done it before a couple of times, so we sort of know how it's gonna it's gonna work. But nervous times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how have you, the last couple of days been? Have you been able to relax and enjoy your stay in Alicante? Yes, it's been, it's been fantastic, really nice, it? fantastic. Yeah. Um, it's very nice. The clinic's been really good with the communications as well. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's been we really good. We love the country, we'd definitely come back here. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely <laughs> come back for a holiday, yeah. Okay, and is there anything that you'd like to, to say uh, to whoever is watching this about the whole process? Yeah, so we obviously we've done IVF in the UK before, um, three times, so this process has been really different and good difference as well so um, I'd recommend anybody that is going to look for IVF to definitely give it a go board, yeah, and yeah. Give it a go. don't always think about just staying back in your own country yeah you know this is a first experience for us coming to a totally different country trying yeah. something totally new and it's been so easy and so pleasant and we definitely you know the it. clinic has been fantastic um, the communication's been really good. Mm. If there's any issues or any problems we've had, we just contact the clinic and they've been in touch with us. So definitely would recommend, going don't abroad. be worried about going abroad and getting IVF. Yeah. It's, it's not as bad as well.